seven tips to prevent chronic respiratory infection CRD in poultry. You can bear with me that CRD is a very serious issue in poultry business. It affects every type of bird in your farm. In fact, you highly avoid CRD. I'm giving you very important tips on how to prevent it in your farm. You're not the only one who has to worry about congestion this period. You cannot be the only farmer facing the same respiratory disease in your farm. CRD is a global poultry issue. Your poultry friends can suffer from respiratory illness. Two, small scale poultry flocks are susceptible to a number of respiratory infections. Some producing extremely mild illness, while others result in high fertility rates. Regardless of whether you raise chickens for eggs, meat or shoe, a respiratory infection can result in decreased performance and even death in cases such as Newcastle disease and avian influenza, which are now rare in many parts of the world. They can also pose a threat to the health of other poultry on the premises. Respiratory infections in poultry have several causes, but outward signs might appear similar to the poultry keeper. In any case of respiratory illness, it is important to know if you are dealing with a viral, bacteria, fungi, or parasitic diseases. The treatment for one disease can be ineffective or even harmful to others. Which is why it is imperative to partner with a qualified avian veterinarian in making an accurate diagnosis and determine a treatment and management plan for your farm. Do not rely on home remedies alone. In addition to the chance that they won't work, they might also mask key indicators of a disease, making diagnosis more difficult or inaccurate. If you suspect that a chicken is ill, immediately isolate it from the rest of the flock. To make a diagnosis, your veterinarian will perform several tests, including blood tests and bacterial cultures of the airways. But if you are having a little flock that practically you cannot afford the bill of consulting the services of a veterinarian, Watch out my video on how to use the poultry poop or droppings to diagnose diseases and know what you could be or what could be the problem or what you could do or what could be a possible solution to your little backyard flock. Note, this method will not give you the accurate 100% results. The fecal test for parasites, including tapeworms which can lodge in the tract here and cause severe respiratory distress should be conducted as well. Some of the diseases that can manifest with respiratory disorder include the following. Foul cholera, infectious coriza, avian mycoplasmosis, Newcastle disease, avian influenza, and tapeworms, which can lodge in the trachea and cause severe respiratory disorder or distress in your poultry bed. For bacterial infections such as foul cholera, infectious coriza, and avian macrophomosis, your veterinarian can prescribe an antibiotics to alleviate symptoms of the disease. However, Keep in mind that in the case of infectious coriza, the antibiotics won't eliminate carrier status. And in the case of avian myclomosis, treatment with antibiotics won't cure the disease. 
answer this question. Should you vaccinate a flock of backyard chicken? If I should help you to answer this question, yes, you can vaccinate your chickens against these three common diseases. Aspergillosis, also known as broader pneumonia, does not usually present with a cough, but instead with a characteristic silent gasp. When you see a young chicken or young chicks gasping for air, raising the neck up and trying to be breathe, but finding it difficult to breathe, that is gasping. It is caused by fungi organisms. Aspergillus species that grow readily in organic materials. If large number of the organisms or their spores are inhaled, they can multiply in the bed's air sacs and spread throughout the respiratory tract. Treatment for aspergillosis involves antifungal drugs and is typically a lengthy and expensive process. If the chicken dies before your veterinarian is able to provide a diagnosis, immediately refrigerate the carcass. Do not freeze it. Ideally, the veterinarian should perform a Necropsy hours <laughs> and it work, and it get a better result. Using good biosecurity practices will help reduce the incidence of communicable respiratory illness in small scale flocks. It is important to develop and implement a biosecurity plan for the health and safety of your poultry and your farm. Solutions on how to handle CROD in your farm. Always obtain hatching eggs and replacement stock for your flock from a reputable hatchery or dealer who participates in the National Poultry Improvement Plan as a USDA program that tests and monitors a number of avian diseases. If possible, House chickens by age group, separating younger birds from older members of the flock. Young poultry needs time to develop immunity. Limit farm visitors' access to your flock to prevent the spread of infectious agents. If a visitor would like to see your chickens, ask them to wear freshly laundered clothes and clean footwear, and request that they avoid contact with any other birds the day of the yeah, visit. Yeah, Secondly, yeah. for a time new flock members for at least three weeks. During this time, ask your veterinarian to test the best blood for antibodies and conduct a fecal parasite screening. Thirdly, provide clean living quarters for your flock. Remove manure frequently. Both viruses and parasites are shed via feces and immediately discard any feed or beddings that become sweat. Boar's beddings is preferably to find as it produces less dust. Ensure good ventilation in buildings where you keep your flock. After returning from a show or fair, quarantine chickens and other poultry for two to three weeks and monitor them closely for any signs of illness or disorders. The combination of a large group of the video from beginning to end. Mm. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Like the page. Leave your comments on the comment sections and make